Guys and gals, welcome back. So this week I want to talk about, well, not really talk about, but kind of show you a little before and after as far as like what my typical like sharpening looks like and what it goes from being like completely non-usable to being hair shaving sharp. So, and then also, so... I got some new belts from Red Label Abrasives and I want to show you them because when I first got these, I was very confused and I'll explain a little bit more, but let's get to sharpening. So cat's out of the bag now, and you've kind of seen a little bit of what they look like, but these belts are wild. So that one you just saw me put on the 1x30 is an 800 grit, which, I mean, you look at this, it looks the exact same. And when I received them, I got uh, like 12 belts or something along those lines. They all look the same. And I'm like... Why did they send me a bunch of like 20 grit belts? Or like 20 grit is probably even generous. It's probably more like five grit. But I called them and I'm like, hey, so I'm not sure if there was a problem with the labeler or something along those lines, but all these belts look the same. And the guy I talked to was like, does it kind of look like little pebbles on the surface? And I'm like, yeah, that kind of does. How'd you know that? He's like, that's actually intentional. So they made these 1x30s specifically so that I could test it out with the 1x30. They're I think they're trying to implement it into different. I thought this was brilliant though. So 
little story, well, not little story, but we're going to explain why this was real, like revolutionary and beneficial. One, so it's a blend of the abrasives and like a resin. So it's basically a bunch of that whatever grit it is. So these just happen to be 600 grits, but 800 grit, 400 grit, 300 grit, what be it. And it's really cool. Like I have yet to wear one out. They last a really long time. And the other bit, like the biggest reason why I like these is if you've used some of the cheaper, like aluminum oxide belts, you know, the feeling like that tape bump, how you get a little bit of chatter and it makes your, the blade jump up and down a little bit. These completely eliminate that just because it's a little bit, not more forgiving, but it just seems to be more forgiving. And I love the result. Like when I first got these, I was so like talking to them. I took it outside and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try this out. So through the 800 grit on my one by 30 and then started up and took a scrap piece of steel because I'm like, okay, it's just going to chew right through this just because, okay, Hey, I'm prove me wrong. So took a piece of scrap steel and tried pushing, like it will not cut into it. It was like, what the hell's going on? So it was super cool to actually like a lot of ingenuity went behind making these and it's definitely a belt I'm going to keep buying because they last a really long time and they do a really good job. So that I wanted to tease and show you what these ones were and kind of explain it. If you're looking for new belts, highly, highly, highly recommend these. They're not telling me, well, they are not telling me to tell you to do that. You know what I mean? It's more, okay, I'm doing this because I personally believe in the product. And now let's get back to the sharpening. I know you, I'm grambling a little bit. Let's get back to it. So recently I got that leather strop, which you can kind of see, but I, I wanted to try the canvas side out because you know me, I've got that brush and typically I'll do the brushing technique, not to over strop or anything along those lines. But I just got done with a secondary, well, not my sec, not a secondary, but my second leather belt for the one by 30. The problem that I found with even like, just the normal one by 30 belts is they wear out f not fairly quickly but if you leave them on the machine with even just like a semi-weak spring it'll stretch them out pretty quickly and they're i mean they're 30 bucks a belt they're not terribly cheap so i was thinking okay how can i increase one my productivity as well as okay keeping money in my pocket because that's ultimately the goal like when you're running a business doing that kind of stuff how can you increase your roi so that you're not losing money and so i bought a manual strop thinking okay i'll give it a shot and see what i think i was blown away like the canvas on the back was really what got me like over the top excited because like Typically, I'll hit the brush, and you know how I do it. I just brush it along the blade and knock off the burr. So doing that with the canvas, though, it knocks it off significantly quicker. And just, it made it really easy. So I've now switched to a manual strop. And it, if you want to know a little bit more about that or curious, like, why I did, you, uh, ask the questions down below. But yeah. So I thought I'd just let you know that that's kind of a new, another new thing. The belts, the red label belts, as well as the strop. So just thought I'd show you that and kind of explain it a little bit.
And if you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you stick around and stay for more adventures. I really love sharing as well as interacting with everybody. So if you have any questions or comments, I don't care if they've been asked a million times or anything along those lines, leave it down below. I love getting in to interact with everyone, grow the community, and just overall spread awareness of sharpening. Take care.